Yeah, yeah please. Yeah. Uh, McClatchy wrote that the groups, uh, the Akhar Al Sham groups, uh, yep. foreign affairs director Labib Al Nahaz was allowed into the United States for a brief visit six months ago. The outlet cites four people with direct knowledge uh, of his visit to Washington, D.C. Were U.S. officials aware of this visit? I'm not sure that we were aware of it. I don't believe he had any meetings here, certainly. Um, uh, but, uh, and I can't speak to visa records. It's privacy uh, considerations. So I don't have much detail I can share with you regarding whether he received a visa to come here. But, but I can look into the, it. I just don't have any more detail. To, but one of the leaders of a group with known ties to Al Qaeda comes to the United States and you can't doubt it? Again, I don't have the details in front of me. I just don't have, uh, you know, I am. If I get okay, more information, I'll share it with just you. Just a few more uh, about this group. Does the U.S. apply pressure on Akhar al Sham to adhere to cessation of hostilities? Do we what? I'm sorry. Apply for, pressure to this group, Akhar al Sham, to adhere to the cessation of hostilities. We uh, uh, apply pressure on all members of the credible uh, vetted opposition, and that's part of the HNC uh, uh, group that was. Do you consider Akhar al Sham a vetted opposition group? Again, we consider well, we apply pressure on all members of the HNC uh, to adhere to the cessation of hostilities uh, that exists right now. Uh, whether they do or not, that's self-selecting. But what do you think about this particular group? Uh, I, you know, uh, I don't have any uh, information to share with you about. Uh, what are you looking for exactly? <laughs> Well, it, to, to what extent they care about the cessation of hostilities? Two weeks ago, when they attacked the, an Alawite village of Al Zara, a photo emerged in social media that showed militants of, from this group standing above actually stepping on corpses of several women. The, the group later said that the women were killed in combat, but they were attacked in their homes. And I wonder, to, do you think this group cares much about the cessation of hostilities? I don't know about this, that particular incident. I can look into it. Um, what I would say again is, you know, we support uh, those members of the HNC uh, who have been vetted by uh, the Saudis in large part, uh, who are part of the negotiating the political process. Um, and uh, we've also said very clearly who we believe to be part of uh, or uh, be uh, terrorist organizations, which is Daesh and Al Nusra and a couple of others that have been identified by the UN. Mm. Please. Please. I apologize. Well, sir, I know you said that you don't know much about Akhar al Sham and what they did in Al Zara. I have the photograph that I mentioned. I was reluctant to show it because of how graphic it was, but now I think I will do so. And maybe this oh. will prompt you to look into this group. And I want to ask you why should this group have protection under the cessation of hostilities when they clearly don't care about cessation of hostilities? Look. I'm just not aware of this incident. I'm not, I was not casting doubt or not trying to, I'm just not aware of it. That said, you know, we hold all parties, whether they're parties of the cessation of hostilities or not, accountable for actions that target uh, civilian populations uh, and, uh, and frankly, uh, you know, uh, 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 are barbaric acts against civilians. I just don't have the specifics in this particular incident. I'm not trying to uh, say in any way that it's not true or it didn't happen. I just don't have. Uh, on my end, uh, the information. I have a